Hi everyone, welcome to the first video of the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I did this using the free software Blender. I just posted it yesterday on my Instagram channel, so go check it out. Before starting though, I want to be clear. This is not a tutorial. Maybe you can learn some tips and hacks, but this is not my purpose. I just like it and wanted to share the process with you. I actually enjoy this kind of content like the one Blender Guru made few months back or the hundreds of videos like this I've watched in the past. I really enjoy those videos and wanted to make something similar. It's just a breakdown of a render challenge to me. So yeah, that is what we are doing. Enough shit chat now, let me show you how it went. I started by the most important thing to do in Blender, delete the default cube. And one thing I like to do every time is to have a clear organized collection according to the type of element I'm going to model. And I'm going to create the basic shape like the floor, the walls and the ceiling by using a simple plan which I will deform with the scaling and the extruding tools. Adding some basic details, nothing special but let be honest, I didn't put any effort on this. I'm going to create the basic shape like the floor, the walls and the ceiling by using a simple plane which I will deform with the scaling and the extruding tools. Adding some basic details but nothing special. And let me be honest, I didn't put any effort on this at all. The kind of render I wanted to create doesn't require too much details, not because I'm lazy. Nah. It was just for the other reason that I mentioned, like the angle, the lighting, and the donuts. Before continuing, it is very wise to add a camera to the scene, so that we can have a nice view, which can help us organize the final look. The little cheat I use here is the camera clipping option I discovered a few days ago. Trust me, it's a game changer. If your scene is not big enough to have a decent view for the render, it will save your life. For the floor material, I use a simple hood texture I found on Ambient CG. I know guys, it is free and I am broke. Now I try some corner so far from Blender Kit Library 100 like many times. Until I found one, the only one. Don't hesitate to download some different furnitures in your scene. The more you try, the more you will understand your scene and what will suit it the best. For the table, I decided to model it myself by using the famous default cube, the same one we deleted. After, by using the sculpting tool, I did some deformation on it because I wanted to give it a wooden material from the Blender Kit library. Something I did not mention is that I took some inspiration from Pinterest to get the ideas so I put this nice plant on the wall, a vase with a clay material here and this nice plant and voila. To have a nice light entering the room, I use a spotlight with a 3 gobo image texture and a texture called Netmap because I don't have a $3000 laptop to add nice trees so I had to keep the scene optimized. I added the HDR image from Blender Kit playing with some details and it all, it all started to come together. Before smashing the render button, I tried many textures for the wall, many positioning for everything, adding small details, render again and again and again, to end up getting this beautiful image. If you zoom really close, you will start to see some weird details like the sharp edge or the plaster on the wall, but from distance it looks really good. Like really good. I spent two hours doing this thing which I enjoyed. Maybe that's a lie. I struggled with the lighting a bit, but I'm glad it turns out good at the end. So let me know what do you think? How well do you think I did? What will you fix on the scene? What will you add on the scene? And what do you like on the scene? Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below like the video if you like the format because I'm going to be doing this for several other videos in relation with architectural visualization. For now I'm done, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, bye bye.